<clears throat> Excuse me. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Stephanie Breen, and today I'm talking about card games. No, I'm not talking about trading card games or customizable card games. I'm talking about your generic deck of cards, card games, and the like. So, and this isn't a ranked list or anything like that. These are just some of my favorite card games and card game memories. I love I love playing cards. Um, I love dice games, board games, tabletop games, role-playing games, video games. I love games. You know? I actually took a class in game theory in college, and it was a lot of fun. So, some of my favorite card games. Uh, I'll go down the list. I'll start with my all-time favorite. Like I said, this isn't ranked, but this this first one is my number one, my all-time favorite. Skipbo. Uh, Skipbo is a card game where you have decks of cards everybody has a little deck has their own deck and you have a hand of cards and then you have a playing table and the goal is to uh, build your cards up from 0 to 12 or 1 to 12 excuse me and then you have the skip bow card which is a wild card it can be any number you want it to be and the goal is to get the cards out of your deck onto the into the and onto the table. And the way you do that is you have a face you have one card face up and you try to play that card on the piles. You have four piles. So for example, if you have a nine on your deck, you want there to be an eight out there on the table. If there's not an eight, you want the five you have five cards in your hand five or seven well I'll say five the cards in your hand you want them to be able to build up to eight so that you can play the nine off of your off of your deck so Skippo is a lot of fun uh, next up is Uno Uno is way simple you basically have a deck in the middle and you flip over the top card and everybody has cards in their hands and you go around the circle and place a card in your hand on top, a matching card from your hand on top of the card on the table. Matching being either the same number or the same color, or if it's, for example, a reverse or a skip or a draw two, then you would play that. Um, the, the rules are a little more tricky than that, but that's pretty much it. It's a very colorful game. Very fast pace. Next up is a game called Rummy. Now, I do not like gin rummy at all. Rummy is kind of like Skippo in some ways. And I don't know how to... De I'm not going to describe Rummy. But Rummy is a game I played a lot with my parents because they really like Rummy. So, you know, it was one that they passed on to us and we passed it on to our friends. Next up is a game called Crazy Eights. Crazy Eights is basically uno but with a deck of cards instead of an uno deck more or less next up is solitaire now there are hundreds of versions of solitaire and i don't know if that's an exaggeration or not but these are the ones i play i play klondike which is your basic solitaire the one everybody's familiar with pyramid which is a version of solitaire i learned from my grandma clock which is another version I learned from my grandma. Free Cell, which is the one that comes with Windows computers. And Spider Solitaire, which also comes with Windows computers. So, yeah. Those are the versions of Solitaire I like to play. The next game, card game, I have memories of and fond memories of and I like to play is um, Go Fish. Go Fish is a, a game where you have a hand of cards and the player across from you has a hand of cards and you when it's your turn you ask the player do you have any sixes and you have a six in your hand you're trying to get a six because if you get two you get a pair you can play you can put them down and the goal is to get rid of all the cards in your hand and so if they say yes, they hand you a six, and then you um, put the sixes down on the table, and then you ask for another card. Or they get to ask for a card, and you go back and forth. If they say no, they say go fish, and then you just pull a 
card out of the fishing pile. That's a pretty fun game, pretty basic. Then there's Old Maid, which is um, kind of like Go Fish with a twist. Um, if you get stuck with the Old Maid card as the last card in your hand after going through the whole process of getting rid of all your cards, you lose the game. So Old Maid is a unique game in that it doesn't have one winner. It has one loser and everybody else are winners. So it's kind of weird. It's like a reverse. The next card game I played a lot was War. War is a two-player game. Well, I guess you could play it with more people than that. I guess, but anyways, let's say two-player game. And the way war works is you each have a deck. And what you do is you flip. You each flip over your the top card from your deck. And um, whoever has the bigger number takes the card from the other player. And uh, puts that at the bottom of their deck. And the goal is to, I think, get rid of all your cards or get all the cards. I don't remember. I don't remember how to play war. However... If you um, flip over your card and you both have the same number or the same card that you both flip over threes or you both flip over queens or whatever, then you have a war. So then you take three cards off the top of your deck and place them face down and then flip over the top card and then you have, again, it's whoever has the higher number takes the cards. And the next game I have is the last game. I cannot tell you its name because this is a game my family played. My grandma taught me. And I cannot find any references to it on the internet at all. So I'm not going to tell you what we called it. Because what we called it might not be what it's called. So I'm just calling it the family game. This is the game my family played. It's kind of like war but not exactly like war uh and i'm not going to describe it because i won't be able to describe it well but it's multiplayer instead of you know just two player card games are fun because you know, some of them you can get into at a young age. You can play Uno when you're like five years old. You can play Old Maid or Go Fish when you're three. Because that's easy to understand, easy to learn, easy to teach. This is not by any stretch every card game I've ever played. I'm not going to sit here and talk for three hours. Holy crap. Um, these are the ones I like the most. Now, there's games like Poker, Blackjack, Slapjack is another one, uh, Bullshit is another one. Those I don't like those games. Those are games I don't like, so I'm not going to talk about them. I just wanted to talk about the ones I do like. I, hearts? I don't even know how to play Hearts. And I can't play Poker because I don't understand it. And therefore, I always lose because I, I don't, I mean, I get the gist of it. Like, I know the difference between a full house and, you know, a straight or a flush. But I can never remember which one's better. So, I don't fucking know how to play. Since I can't remember which one's better, you could tell me, you know, as an example, a flush could be better than a full house. As an example. Um... But you could tell me that the full house is better than a flush, and I would believe you because I don't know fucking I don't fucking know. So I can't play poker because I don't fucking know how to play it. And I grew up in Nevada, so I should know how to play poker. True story, I worked at a casino. My first job after school job was working in a casino. And uh to this day, I've never played craps, and I do not understand how to play craps. So, 
like I said, I've played a lot of card games, but these are my favorite ones. And I'll do another video on trading card games, customizable card games um, as a whole, but also individual ones too. We'll get their own videos down the road. Because, you know, I, I plan on living for a long time and keeping this channel running for as long as I'm alive. So, you know, I got, I got plenty of videos to come. Stay cool.